All right, back again. Today we get out the old Sega Mega Drive, and I figured we could put in this game here, Virtual Racing. So pop that in, play some of that. This is uh, one of the stranger looking carts here for the Mega Drive because it has the uh, Sega Virtual Processor in it. But uh, yeah, it's an uh, interesting, interesting game to, to go back and play. Uh, back in the day, the graphics were pretty good for the time. Um, if you compare them to today's standards, yes, of course, they're a, a little bit dated here. And, uh, you know, it might not look as sharp as what you may remember it, but it's still a lot of fun to go back and play. This is actually uh, a game that I thought was not in my collection and gone, but I actually found it, so jump in here and uh, give it a shot. Uh, when you come to the first main menu, um, you'll have just the regular virtual racing you can go through. Um, if you just want to go for, uh, you know, kind of a free ride, go and uh, get used to the controls, you can do free run. Two player option if you have a second controller and a uh, second player hooked up and uh, basic options and records. So let's jump in here to the main menu, main virtual racing. And then here you have your three main courses. Uh, interesting enough, if you want to change uh, the transmission of the car, you have to hold down the A button and uh, it'll go to manual, release it, and defaults automatic. So we'll just do manual, do it on medium here. Uh, pressing up and down, it's a seven speed transmission. Uh, so pressing down will go up and pressing up will go down. So. Also, the C button here will change our camera angle, which can be pretty helpful sometimes. If you change it too far out, it gives you a really, really weird perspective and it's hard to control the car. But it's a lot of fun to go back and play, you know. Especially if you're into the racing games, you'll, uh, you'll probably enjoy this one. Is all spinning out. <laughs> Still a lot of fun to play, even with the mistakes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you haven't played it in a while, <laughs> or if you haven't played it before, it might be a little tricky to get the, the hang of at first, but it's still a lot of fun. Uh, up in the middle, you can see your, uh, your time, and that's how much time you have to get to the next uh, checkpoint. And, uh, you know, if you make it, then you get a time extension, but if you don't make it, well, then like most games with uh, timed uh, checkpoints, then the game's over, so as long as you make the, uh, the checkpoint, you'll be okay. And then you get that little boost of music there for a little while, you know, a few seconds. It's kind of interesting. Oh! <laughs> there we go, game over. You know, nothing too special here, but uh, yeah, you know, just to get a little bit of an idea. Um, it's a racing game. It's done in a, you know, kind of simulation perspective. And, uh, you know, once you get into it a little bit, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, if, you if you're looking to see more gameplay on this one, you can just check it out. It's probably all over uh, YouTube. But uh, a fun little game to have for your Mega Drive. And, uh, yeah, that's all for right now. But like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.